The Internet of Things is ready to roll out and may allow Big Brother to place his prying eyes on virtually every single physical object on the planet, allowing the government or almost anybody to track the person who purchased it, the place it was purchased, the price it was per paid, and the physical location of such object, and even who has come into near proximity to any particular object, something down to even as small as the size of a pen. Uh, it's said that it's going to be bigger than the Industrial Revolution, bigger than the Digital Revolution, the next phase of the Internet, as uh, Microsoft and other tech companies just can't wait for it to roll out. And essentially what it is, as IPv6 is rolled out, Internet Protocol version 6, the number of unique IP addresses, or almost serial numbers for products, is going to be virtually unlimited. And so these companies want to tag items instead of having a universal product code, a UPC, they want every single item to have a an RFID or some sort of a Bluetooth or a near-field communication device stuck on it uh, that will then communicate with any Wi-Fi network or Bluetooth device uh, throughout the life of the object uh, that will allow the government or anybody really to track the information about that object uh, no matter where it is or who's coming into contact with it. Um, as you probably are aware of, the um, quote smart revolution is just getting a little bit crazy here as Nike has smart shoes that communicate with Bluetooth to track uh, you know just how far you walk and how, how high you can jump and uh, you probably maybe have seen the smart water bottle, which helps you stay hydrated. It just it just tracks how much you drink. And I don't know if you've seen the smart fork that came out at the Consumer Electronics Show uh, last year, but uh, well, you know a bunch of morons just you know need a electronic uh, fork to count how fast and how many times you move uh, the fork to and from your plate. And so, what is happening as um, IPv4? is essentially almost obsolete, uh, which has 4.3 billion unique IP addresses. So they're getting ready, you know, they're slowly really rolling out IPv6, Internet Protocol version 6, which is 128-bit um, IP address or almost a unique serial number for every single product. Uh, there's so many unique codes that there's literally 3.4 times 10 to the 38th power number of combinations. 340 trillion trillion trillion. It's just more numbers than what anybody can even comprehend. Uh, as devices now, just all of them have, you know, they want them to have smart stuff on them. It's, so they're promoting this as, oh, your smart refrigerator will be able to tell when you don't put the gallon of milk back in because it will have a, you know, a unique RFID tag on it with its own, you know, IPv6 uh, code on there. Uh, that then your smart refrigerator will detect that you did not put the gallon of milk back in the fridge, so it will add that automatically to your shopping list um, because people are getting so dumb now that they just can't, you know, take a look in their fridge or just remember what sort of products they need on a weekly or you know monthly basis. So got to have your got to have your smartphone take care of that for you. The smartphones are becoming smarter than anybody. You probably are familiar with the uh, quote smart homes. Uh, now people are just, you know, locking their doors remotely with their apps, uh, completely oblivious to the uh, just absolute uh, insecurity that such devices uh, entail. When hackers then can just, you know, just hack into your house <laughs> with a few clicks of the keyboard or not to mention the NSA. Uh, and so this is being touted as the next industrial revolution. It will uh, be interesting to see how this happens. Um, so, for example, every literal single product will have its own unique code, uh, unique number. So if you buy a, you know, if you're a, a psychologically sedated, uh, high fructose corn syrup slurping sucker, uh, and you, you know, you just happen to throw your can of uh, Coke out the window on the side of the road, I mean, being a litter bug, that particular can of Coke then could be traced back to you because it will have its unique uh, little RFID tag or its IPv6 number, and it will the authorities can track who bought it, when it was purchased. Uh, it will probably interact with anybody that even it'll show a history of who it came into close proximity with. A little RFID chip in there will just log who comes in within you know two feet of the can of Coke. Uh, so then they'll just you know, probably just send you a, send you a fine for, for littering. Uh, of course, 
the clothing companies want to have this so that they, they can just determine, you know, a thief can just walk by you and determine uh, exactly what products you have, uh, you know, on your person, what what kind of clothes you have. The si Oh, it's going to be so easy now. You can just go and get skin, and we don't, you don't even need to look at the tag of what size clothes you're wearing. Um, so this is something that's going to rapidly roll out, whether it's going to be accepted or not, whether these are just, uh, you know, utopian uh, Orwellian pipe dreams remains to be seen. But the brain-dead, psychologically sedated slave public uh, appears to be welcoming uh, any kind of smart technology. Uh, they are just glued to their smartphones. We're seeing the rollout of uh, wearable computers or uh, head-mounted displays or HMCs, head-mounted computers like Google Glass, uh, because people just aren't on their computer, aren't on their smartphone enough. You know, you just need to glue one up up near your face. Um, you know, just spend more time on your smartphone, spend less time with your family and friends. Uh, so be on the lookout for this. Just another thing to resist. Uh, just an absolute invasion of privacy uh, on Orwellian levels that George Orwell probably couldn't even have imagined. Uh, so every little piece, the, the little, little tiny little RFID tag will be glued on your pen, glued on your little coffee cup, uh, probably glued onto a napkin. Uh, that you use uh, at your, you know, GMO high, f you know, high fructose corn syrup selling uh, fast food stores, uh, fast food restaurants. So just a heads up about uh, the Internet of Things or the IOT, as the trendies will call it. Yeah, I got my IOT tag on my pen, man. Now if anybody steals my pen, I can just log into the, my uh, Wi-Fi network and just find out. It'll, it'll show up exactly you know, who has been using my pen and where it's, where it's located. I'll just geo-track my, my stolen pen. It's going to be so cool, so slick. I'm sure that the, the government will never want to do anything like that. I'm sure that the IRS would never want to just know exactly what kind of objects you I'm sure that thieves would never want to, you know, just kind of walk past a person or their automobile or outside of someone's house and just, you know, do a quick search for on the Internet of Things to find out what kind of, uh, you know, devices and what kind of things are in people's houses. I'm sure that this is just going to be fantastic. You know, I'm, I'm sure that Big Brother just loves you. And that's why Big Brother's, you know, symbolized by the one, one eye, the all-seeing eye of the Illuminati, which, interestingly enough, is also the symbol of the Antichrist. In the Bible, it talks about the Antichrist will have an assassination attempt made against him and will recover, will seemingly come back from the dead, um, probably as a genetically altered, you know, uh, transhumanist cyborg. Uh, but one eye will be damaged, or the Bible is probably just referring to him wearing his little Google Glass over his one eye, emphasized by one eye. And the Muslims have a, a prophecy about the Dajjal, which is the name of what they call the Antichrist, who will be symboled by one eye, symbolized by one eye. So kind of interesting, both Muslims and Christians uh, have a prophecy about the, uh, the uh, false counterfeit Messiah who will embody the very emblem of the Illuminati and of Big Brother. You see, he is the Illuminati Messiah. He, he embodies the one eye. He embodies the symbol of Big Brother as well. He loves us. Let's, let's send those Christians off to a FEMA camp and pull out the guillotines. They're the ones that are, won't take the chip. They're the ones that are uh, holding up this global New World Order utopia. They're the ones that are saying that he's not the Messiah. Let's just execute them all. Uh, that, that is what's coming. That's the ultimate endgame of this. Uh, so read the uh, read the Gospels. That means the four books and the uh, four first books of the New Testament. Try to get yourself up to speed. Learn how you can be saved through Jesus Christ. And thanks for watching my videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Check out some of the previous videos. There are playlists on YouTube.com/slash Mark Dice, or just click on my uh, username and it'll take you to the homepage. You can see some of my previous videos broken down into playlists. Uh, and uh, subscribe to my backup channel as well, youtube.com slash the resistance, T-H-E resistance. Uh, I, I got to start posting on there as well. So thanks again for watching. Uh, hit me up on Facebook and Twitter and stay tuned because there's more videos on the way.